This is a year eight microbes video. We're looking in this video at how microbes enter the body and how our body tries to prevent that from occurring, okay? Tries to protect us from those microbes. So we can see from the picture here, the different ways that microbes enter the body through the eyes, the nose, the ears, the mouth, okay? Also through genitals, cuts, and through skin. Let's just move that one away for a second. And let's look at how we can prevent those infections. Okay, so we've got natural defences. In the trachea, that's the uh, windpipe, we've got ciliated cells and goblet cells. And the goblet cells make mucus, okay? That's basically what you would call snot. And what the mucus does is it traps all the dirt and the dust and the microbes that we breathe in and it stops it going into the lungs. And then those ciliated cells um, have kind of hairs on the ends of the cells and they waft all of the uh, mucus away from the lungs up to the nose so that it can be removed from the body, taking with it all of that dust and um, microbes with it. We've got the skin, which acts as a physical barrier. We've got hairs in our nose and also that mucus again to help trap larger particles from going down into our lungs. If microbes get into the stomach, we have hydrochloric acid in the stomach, which is pH 2. And what that does is it actually destroys the and, and kills the bacteria. Obviously, if we've got something like food poisoning, then there's so much bacteria, um, it can't all be destroyed and then we do suffer from it. But um, just everyday bacteria in food, we're able to get rid of using that hydrochloric acid. Um, in our blood, we have platelets, which are kind of fragments of cells, and they can cause scabs to form. So if we do cut ourselves, then we're able to, um, to, to block that cut using those platelets forming that scab, so nothing can get into our skin. We've also got tears, which have high salt concentration, and eyelashes, which help to prevent uh, microbes entering. Um, the microbes can't cope in those salty conditions of the tears, so they are not able to survive to get into the body. Okay, so we had our how do microbes enter and what can our body do to prevent it. We've also got the role of white blood cells as well in fighting disease and we'll talk about that at another point in time. Hope you found that useful, thank you.